Here I'm going to show you how to add Y error bars to a chart in Excel. Now what I have here is an example of a line chart with the default style selected and I did that just because it lends itself well to displaying the Y error bars. So I have monthly sales here and it's a prediction of what the next 12 month sales are going to look like. So I want to figure out what the error is going to be because they're all estimates. So in order to add the Y error bars, simply go to where you have the line plotted, right click over that line, click Format Data Series, and the Format Data Series box is going to pop up. On this window, click the Y error bar tab. And from there, default is going to be none. So in the display box, it should say none. Then you can select whether or not you want your Y error bar to be minus, plus, or both. The minus is only going to show the error below the plotted point, the plus the error above, and both is going to show the error below and above that point. So I'm going to go ahead and choose both because I want to know the error of my sales forecasts if the we were below it or if we were above it. Now the error amount box is going to let you determine how you want the Y error bars to be displayed or how much, what amount. So you have the fixed value, and if I select that, the Y error bar will be 2,000 units above and 2,000 units below the plotted point. If I select percentage, it's going to be 5% of that point's value above and 5% below. So if I have a plotted point at 10,000 units and I select percentage, the Y error bar will be 500 units above and 500 units below. I can select the standard deviation standard error and also the custom box. Now the custom box is really kind of interesting. I can put my own number for above here like say 1500 and the Y error bar will be 1500 above the point and a custom for below. So say I want to have it 2000 below a specific point. So the above and below aren't going to be equal. The other thing you can do with the custom tab is actually enter cell references here that are on the worksheet so that you can change the Y error bar size through the worksheet itself. So I'm going to show you an example of the fixed value and the custom. For fixed value, I'm going to click OK. And you'll see that every single data point has the Y error bar 2,000 units above and 2,000 units below. If I right click format data series, go to percentage, they're very, very tiny over here because the numbers are smaller. But as they get bigger, the Y error bars increase in size. So in December, 5% above and below is much larger than 5% above and below over here in February. Now, the custom box, I showed you how to enter the number for it, so enter a custom number above and below. Now to make a cell reference on a sheet, simply click this box here on the right. I'm going to scroll down, highlight here, hit enter. Then I'm going to click this box for the below portion of the Y error bar. Click this box and hit enter. Then I'm going to select OK and you'll notice there are no Y error bars right now but if I want to add one I'm going to do one 1500 above for the Y error bar and 2000 below and there I can add my own custom sizes very easily without having to go back to the format data series so using the custom box is very interesting in that way and it can actually save you some time especially in the future so that's how you can add and edit the Y error bars in a chart. Now you don't have to do it in a line chart, you can do it in another, other types of charts, but it's just easiest to, uh, it's easier to illustrate what it's going to look like in a line chart. So that's how you add the error bars.